Cedar Springs Brewing Company is known for Weiss beer and the man behind what is one fantastic Weiss beer, David Ringler. Hey, how are you? Grüß Gott. Herzlich willkommen. Yeah. Prost. Prost. And in the Augenschauen. Yes. Look in the eyes, yeah. We'll explain this later. I like it ought to be. Your Weiss beer is outstanding. Thank you. It's a labor of love. Well, drinking is a labor of love as well, is it not? <laughs> <laughs> so explain. Well, we should enjoy the fruits of our labor. We should. Yeah. What goes into this Weiss beer? Uh, we brew after the Reinheitsgebot, which is the German beer purity law, so we use four ingredients in everything we do. So we're using malted grains, in this case both barley and wheat, and by tradition and law, Weiss beer is always at least 51% wheat. Uh, we're about 55 in ours. Um, water, hops, and yeast, that's it. So all the flavor that you're getting from this is only coming from those four ingredients, and that's the same for all of our beers. You've traveled to Bavaria, you've learned from the masters. <laughs> from the masters, yes, I was allowed to wash kegs for the masters. I did start well, my you education. Something. Yeah, my education was started in uh, in Bavaria in 19, 1984, actually. Eesh, I'm dating myself. That's right, but you've been at this for a while. You're in this uh, cosmos of craft brewers, mm -hmm. and in many ways, this really isn't a craft beer. You're you're, you're crafting it here in the states, mm -hmm. but this is a German standard in many ways. It's an antique. Oh, it is. This is this particular, this is our uh, Kustra Regenau Weiss beer, which is the antique version of the style. This is the way it was brewed for 300 years prior to the rise of lager beers in the 19th century. For about three centuries, this was uh, the, the right to brew Weiss beer, wheat beer, was controlled by the royal court. So the royal brewer was the only one allowed to make this beer. Now they did this originally in an effort to save wheat for farmers to make bread, but it was not incidentally a pretty good money maker for the crown. Uh, in fact, at one time it was up to a third of royal revenues was in the sales of ice beer. Now, they fought the 30 years war against the Swedes on the sale of ice beer. So it was known as a Bavarian product, but because nobody else could brew Weiss beer, other, other brewers created other styles, and eventually this led to Munich Darks and then the rise of lager beers in the 19th century. As lager beer became more popular, Weiss beer faded away. And honestly, if it weren't for a particular brewer by the name of George Schneider, who, uh, as part of a lease swap, negotiated the rights to brew Weiss beer, probably would have died as a style. For about 100 years, nobody was making it. In the mid-1960s, the big guys started jumping on Weiss beer again. And almost everything that we know as Americans about Weiss beer is all the modern version of the style. We do that as well. It's called our Heller Weiss beer. And that is the pale, relatively fruity. It's going to have a lot of banana and clove and, and these uh, expected taste to them. Some uh, people have learned to drink it with a lemon, which is not traditional. But if you like it that way, that's fine. This is the older version. This is the way it was made before that rise of lager beer. That's a little darker, a little more nuttiness, a little more uh, mm -hmm. almond to that. Yeah. Um, there's a little more balance. It's not quite as fruity. But these, along with the other beers we do, are traditional styles. These styles have been around for centuries. This isn't, um, you know, a, an every two weeks something different and see what sticks kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe in that case, we're a little bit unusual for the craft beer world today, um, but I fell in love with these styles a long time ago, and um, you know, I, I, when I moved back to the States in 96, I, I thought I'd start in a brewery then, and I figured somebody's going to come on and do this, and nobody really did. So here we are now, a few years later, um, and we're just, we're, I mean, we do some other stuff too, but we're kind of just doing some of these traditional beers, and hopefully we're doing them rather well. Yeah, and this is a standout beer, and an award-winning beer. Yeah. Uh, great great American now. Beer Festival. Uh, we, uh, we did very well there, and we've been fortunate to, to win a few accolades in our short history. We've been open, you know, not quite a year and a half. But Weiss beer is one of these things. I mean, Hefeweizen, and Weizen beer, Weiss beer, these are all interchangeable terms. All, be, all Weiss beer is Hefeweizen, and Hefe just means yeast. The only exception is a style call, is a, is a variation called Kristall or Crystal, which is filtered. Everything else is always Hefeweizen. Um, the term has been somewhat uh, misunderstood in the U.S. because we've had some American wheats that have adopted that term and they really aren't traditional and then you have wit beers which is the belgian variation and those have orange peel and coriander in them so they're spiced definitely not reinheitsgebot doesn't mean they're not a great beer but it's it's a different style this is a five century old beer 
So not this one in particular, but. No. <laughs> well, here's to Weissbeer. Here is to a couple of antiques. Cheers. Prost. Prost. Prost.